this is John and Jess and we're the Relationship Revivalist and you know today is another awesome day and you know maybe you're you're binge watching all these videos and it's all in one sitting who knows uh, but remember today is that awesome day and have that mindset of you know we are in the best time ever we've we're so blessed to be living in this day and so we want to talk to you a little bit about mindset. Yeah, I was like, John, that's perfect that you mentioned mindset because that's what we're talking about today. Yeah. <laughs> it's just perfect. So in, in your thinking every day, I want to uh, ask you a question. Where's your focus on a minute by minute, a, an hour by hour, and even a day by day mm. uh, time period? If you are, you know, so like, I'm, I'm analytical, I have to say that. <laughs> And so I do keep track of what my mindset is. But even if you're the, that expressive type, I believe you can actually make a mental note and say, hey, my thoughts right now are maybe not that great. And so I need can to change them. Yeah, Jess, can you answer? So for me, um, several days ago, I know my mindset wasn't as great as it is now. I had to kind of take a hold of it and change it and rework it um, because I was too focused on things that I felt like I couldn't do right now. Things that I'm used to being able to do during a week, during a day. Um, but I was like, oh no, I can't do that. And I can't do that. And I don't know when I'll be able to do that again. Um, but I had to be like, wait a second, this isn't very healthy to focus on what I can't do right now. Well, I need to think about all the things I can do and find comfort and freedom in those things mm -hmm. that I can do right now. Like I'm able to stay in my cozy house and eat from our kitchen and, you know, try out maybe some new recipes or have a little bit more time to cook again, which mm -hmm. has been really a lot of fun instead of thinking, Oh my gosh, I can't, you know, do this or that. I can't go mm -hmm. out to eat. What? <laughs> which, you know, yeah. Is not great all the time yeah. <laughs> anyway, but my point is my mindset has changed and I'm really proud of myself. And so if you have thought of that, Hey, yeah, I think I've, my mindset has changed too. You can be so proud of yourself. And if, if, um, it hasn't yet, you know, you can use these practical, um, insights that we're about to share with you to help it change yeah. and change for the better. So there was, there's a song that comes to mind and I think it really would help for you. Uh, if you remember the song, if you're growing up in church, maybe you heard the song, Count Your Blessings. It kind of goes, count your blessings, name, name them, them one, one by one. one. Count your blessings, see what God has done. And I love that song. It just kind of, I was reminded of that song when we were thinking about mindset and this subject because count your blessings well first of all you're focusing on your what you have mm -hmm. what you're able to do on your blessings you know who you have in your life your wonderful partner who you have in your life you know count your blessings and and then also in that song it says see what god has done that speaks of looking at remembering reminding yourself and reminding God, because in the Bible, it says, God remind says, me. remind me of my merits. merits. Yeah. It's not for him. It's for us yeah. to make him big in our mind. Because, you know, when you think about, Lord, you took care of that situation back in 2001. And you did the same thing in 05 and, you, you know, or whatever, whatever mm -hmm. your timeline is. And you just, you can get so blessed by remembering all mm -hmm. the times that God came through for you. And you're creating that history with him. Like I gave that thing to the Lord back then and he worked it out for me so beautifully. Mm -hmm. And then I did it again and he worked it out again. So with this thing that I'm going through right now, I can give that to him and I have faith and I know he's going to work it out again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah. wonderfully. And, and so another one of those things that you can really glean from is, you know, what's the one th well, not just one thing, but there's some things that can cause you to have fear. And one of those things is looking in the past or looking yeah. in the future, especially because mm -hmm. in the future, it's not happened yet and it's an unknown. But right. if you look in the past, it's a, it's a lot easier to look in the past because we know what's happened. 
So where is the best place for us to be? Right now in the present. Yes. And, you know, I, I've, in the past, I've thought so many times, well, what am I going to do if this happens? Or mm -hmm. what, you know, you, your mind tends to just play things out. Mm -hmm. And then eventually you're like, you go, you get a lot of anxiety. And if you have that low grade anxiety, it's probably because you're looking to the future. So start staying right here in, in the present mm -hmm. moment and then say this to yourself. I have everything that I need right now in the present moment. Nothing in the world can take anything from me in this present moment. That's right. And if you repeat that several times a day, you're, you're the, I'm not even going to call it your anxiety because it's not yours. That's right. <laughs> I'm going to say that the anxiety is going to realize that you've got a leg up and it has no place in your life. So keep keep saying it and repeating it to her, to your head. Mm -hmm. And also, you know, what you hear, uh, will go down to your mm -hmm. spirit as well. And that's what the goal is to get it into your spirit so that it automatically just stays there. And you're like, I've got everything I need right now. Mm -hmm. Nothing in this world can take away what I have right now in, in this present moment. Uh, so, you know, that's, that's another one of those things yeah. that you can just take and run with. Exactly. And then one last thing we wanted to share with you is um, another way that um, it's, it, it's important to be a blessing to others. And by doing that, it helps our own mindset. Um, sometimes we're, we're really tempted to just go inward and think about, oh, poor me, poor me. But really, we need to look at others and think about, well, what are they going through and how can I help them right now? Mm -hmm. You know, um, whatever that, however that is. So it's important to look outside of ourselves too and be a blessing to others. And it's really cool because it's a way that we can partner with God because if he's prompting us to help somebody in a certain way, then we can do it really excitedly because one, we're able to help others mm -hmm. and God's using us. And then another thing, he means it for our blessing too. Yes. Absolutely. So today, I think, <laughs> I don't know if there was something else that you wanted to add. Oh, and then also, um, speaking of blessing, being a blessing to others, we want to bless you with a PDF, um, 21 ways that you can help your relationship at home. And there are some ways on that PDF that you can definitely be a blessing to your partner. And so we just wanted to get that to you. And John, I think is going to tell you how you can get it. Exactly. And so if you're, uh, in the least bit, uh, if, so if you're ready to get some things to do that are going to take that boredom out of your life and you're going to be able to grow that relationship, go to the relationship revivalist.com forward slash 21 ideas. And the link will be in the description, so you can go and just click on it, go and grab that right away, read through it, and then pick one. Pick one that you, your favorite one on there, and do it. And then pick one that is outside of your comfort zone, and do that with your partner. Yep. And we'd love to hear your progress. Mm -hmm. uh, we will uh, definitely uh, look forward to the emails from you. And with that, we will close this video and wish you an amazing rest of your day. See you soon.